Oh, come on, dude. Oh, it's coming up at the bait. This is a big fish. Got him. This is a good fish. Okay, here we go. First walleye. Oh, it's a big walleye, boys. Woo, baby. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's have a look. This is a monstrous walleye, boys. Look at this. <laughs> this is going to be a big fish, dude. Got him. Oh, boy. Oh. I'm just going to play. Oh, I got off. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna take a second here to shout out the sponsors of today's video. No, not Eskimo. Well, actually, yes, Eskimo, but Geometric Sharpening Services got my blades back in better than new condition and uh, Super Bond Dollarama version crazy glue. For subsequently gluing me back together after that allen key slipped and did me real dirty hopefully this crazy glue is going to save me a trip to the hospital for a couple of stitches but we're headed up to big lake winnipeg going to continue the pursuit for a gigantic 30 inch walleye so stick around we'll see you soon fish like right there there's a big fish there oh yeah there's fish here boy there's fish here boy yo what is up my dudes we're back out here as you may or may not be able to tell we are no longer in Nunavut anymore we've left the north we are back home we're out here on Big Lake Winnipeg it's a little windy out here so let's go inside the shack here so we can talk a little more welcome to the Eskimo where we make your dreams come true or maybe it's my dreams that we actually make come true I can't really remember how that goes. All right, we're finally set up. Had a bit of a gruesome start this morning. Got the ion blades sharpened and went to go strap them on before coming out here. And Allen key slipped and I jammed my thumb right into the cutting edge on the side of the blade. So I super glued her back up, hit her up with some electrical tape. With super glue and electrical tape in your first aid kit, you really don't need anything else. Now, I saved you the pain and agony of having to watch me like jump around from spot to spot. I started out shallow today in about eight feet of water and slowly moved my way out, scanning around to see if I could find some fish on the screen. Lake Winnipeg is a gigantic sandy bowl with not a whole lot going on in terms of like bottom contours or, or structure or anything. So kind of the way we attack this lake is pull up on a spot where we think or know might have fish. It could be a spot from previous years that have produced before. With the forward facing sonar, you just kind of do a little scan around of the area. If there's some signs of life, fish the area for a little while. If the fish aren't active, make a big jump, move to a different area, and then kind of rinse and repeat until you find some active fish. As you're seeing more promising signs, from that method, you kind of make your moves a little bit smaller and smaller, and you just basically keep on moving. Now, I hit about five spots on the way out to this spot where we finally ended up. Scanned around, didn't see a whole lot, just the odd fish here and there. Pulled up on this spot, dropped down the panoptics, and saw tons and tons of marks all around. So, it's a little bit cold out today. Wasn't really trying to stay outside too much, just because camera gear and stuff doesn't work very well in the cold. So, basically, just put up the shack, and here we are fishing. So, now basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use one slower presentation and one more actively jig presentation now i'm going to flip around between some spoons and rattle baits namely the element custom baits mug shots and the old wingdings if you're unfamiliar with either of those i will uh, show you a little later in the video but we're just going to start fishing now and get this show on the road because there was a lot of fish here and i want to uh capitalize and show you guys one of these fish well hopefully more than one of these fish we'll start with one. Oh, there's a big ass fish coming Holy smokes. I mean, I think it's big. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, it's coming up at the bait. This is a big fish. Got him. This is a good fish. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, no. First walleye. Oh, it's a big walleye, boys. Woo, baby. Oh my goodness! Well, the first fish of the season from Lake Winnipeg here is an absolute behemoth. Oh, this could be close to my PB, boys. Okay, uh, hold up. We're gonna lip grip this fat boy. Oh man, he crushed that ECB, baby. 
that just popped right out so nice. <laughs> Yo! Okay, let's have a look. This is a monstrous walleye, boys. Look at this. <laughs> I need to fix this camera. Hold up, hold up. Okay, well, let's have a look at this big mama. Okay, here we go. Look at this, boys. Oh my goodness. This, I'm pretty sure, is gonna be my PB walleye. And that is the first Lake Winnipeg fish of the season. Okay, let's get that thick grill back. Look at how fat that grill is. Oh, there she goes. Wow, okay, so that's a start to the Lake Winnipeg season. That thing just came in, didn't play around, and crushed that Wonderpox ECB. That's the 60 millimeter. Deadly! So I just want to remind you guys that if anybody wants to get in on this action for a guided Lake Winnipeg greenback trip with Brady and myself, definitely don't hesitate to hit us up. We still do offer the combo guided package with the both of us. Brady also has two deadly ice castles available for rent. So yeah, hit either Brady or myself up if you want to get in on any of that action and enjoy the rest of the video. What a way to start. We had a lot of technical difficulties. It's like a quarter after 11 right now. Been dinking around all morning. Heater took an hour to start. Had to sit it in the truck with the heat bumping to get it going, but we're good. We're in business and we are back out here. <laughs> okay, well, that's a start. Let's get some more. Now, oftentimes catching a humongous fish at the beginning of the day can be pretty anticlimactic because uh, it's pretty hard to one-up that, but I'm hoping we get a couple more fish at least today. I mean, all signs are pointing to yes, that fish showed up. First fish, basically, that I've seen on the fish finder all day, and it came and smashed it. Oh, yes! I'll give you a little look at our slower presentation here. What we got going on is the old Jamie Bruce special, the clack shot. So essentially all it is, is a drop shot rig. We have a live minnow on an octopus hook right there, covered by ugly face. And then down below about 14 inches or so is a clock shot weight. Now you've seen me use this before. Out here on Lake Winnipeg, sound and vibration is such a deal just because it's such a vast basin. So anything that's gonna get the attention of some of these fish, there's a big fish down there right now. So I'm gonna shut up, get this back down. Oh, this is gonna eat. Why? Oh, here it comes. Oh, I just missed it. I don't know if this is huge. Got him. It's not bad. Definitely not as big as the last one. Got him. I mean, that's still a super deadly big walleye. Check that out. It just looks like a baby in comparison to that 29. Get that boy back. There he goes. Okay, fish number two, not a bad fish at all. So as I was saying, the old clack shot here is a staple in my arsenal. Kind of the principle is that you can just clack those weights against the sandy bottom, cause a little bit of noise, hopefully snag the attention of one of these big walleyes. And just kind of like let that minnow do his thing, kick around. You can also use a salted minnow variant. I like to use a little bit longer shank of a hook if I'm going with the old saltine, but it seems like lately the uh, the live minnows are killing it as compared to the salties. But so far that's two for the active baits and zero for the live baits, which is an incredible sign because I don't know about y'all, but walleye fishing is a little bit boring to me, especially when they're only eating like baits that are just like, just kind of picking them up off the bottom sort of crappy thing. But when walleyes are attacking active baits like aggressively, like those last two fish were, it's actually quite enjoyable. Like it's pretty decently fun, but when they're just eating jigs like so soft that you can barely even feel the bites and just kind of kills it a little bit. It's not the most fun or ideal of situations. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, coming up at the rattle bait. <laughs> Dumb. This fish is crazy, bro. This is just a wee fish. Man, is that fish aggressive. Can't even hit it. What is this thing? There's a bigger fish down below. Wow, that fish just got fucking freaked out. Oh, it's on the drop shot. There we go. Small fish. 
Sauger. Dumb. I wanted the other one. Ow. Wherever I go, the saugers follow, except Nunavut, because they would die there. Sauger, I'm not even gonna show you stupid fish. There was a way bigger one down there. And that stupid little sauger, stupid little sauger, frigged it all up for us. So I was just gonna switch up to a different little dead bait presentation just because I have severe ADHD and I need to do things with my hands. But what I have right here, if it would focus, fing stupid. It's your fing problem. So, along with the clack shot, I wanna mess around with these right here they're super sick little like live bait tungsten jig heads they sit so nice and perfectly horizontal so i'm just gonna mess around just to have fun you know here comes a fish oh, wow. Wow. whoa look at all that bait so that bait what you're seeing right there is basically what these fish are just kind of roaming around chasing and there is no shortage of that bait there's a fish here we go. This fish is going vertical. Oh, he ducked me. That's small fish. You can tell it's tiny when it makes those tweaky little movements. You'll never see a big walleye tweak out like that little dink just did there. So it looks like we're in the midday lull now. As I mentioned earlier, we had some technical difficulties. Big surprise, that doesn't usually happen to me at the beginning of the day. And we started fishing around 11 a.m. Caught those two fish back to back and then a sauger shortly after. Seen some fish roll through every once in a while, but it's been a minute since we caught a fish. It's about, I don't know, maybe 1 p.m. Now I did mention the usual game plan for Lake Winnipeg is to find a spot fish if you're not finding active fish keep moving but just with the nature of filming it is so hard to, to execute that game plan effectively and film at the same time so basically seeing enough fish right now that i'm willing to sacrifice a few fish on the day to stay comfortably in one spot and film a better video for you guys because at the end of the day since doing this youtube thing the content is what matters the most it's kind of consumed my life this whole youtube content creation thing but i absolutely love it so much and there's nothing i'd rather do so thank you guys all so much for making this possible i mean if there wasn't an audience if you guys weren't checking this stuff out then i wouldn't probably be doing this oh there's a fish oh we have a fish chasing up the spoon i just switched up to the small size wing ding come on eat you stupid there we go. Wow, that's a gigantic perch, okay. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a very small walleye, but instead, it is a extra large perch. Holy Christ, this perch crushed this. How, bro? He got every trouble point in his mouth. Check that out. That is a jumbo-sized perch. Get him back. See you, buddy. Well, that's a really nice fish. Almost a Manitoba Master Angler, 11-incher. So it's the first fish that ate in a while. A little bit of a lull in the action. So I just literally like a minute before that fish bit, switched up to the wing ding. It's the brand new spoon from Element Custom Baits. This is the smaller size. It's just a nice little fluttery spoon and it has these little wing attachments on it. Super nice fluttery action to it. Once again in that Wonder Pox color that I love so much. And just for a little bit of flavor action, just gonna tip this wing ding with a nice little petite live minnow. Look at that minnow just kicking that spoon around. I'll give you a little example of the action there. As you can see, when you give the spoon a nice, oh, there's a fish down there. I'll show you the action after. Fish right underneath. <laughs> get down, get down. Oh, that's a big fish, I think, boys. Here we go. It's got him. <laughs> Maybe that's not a big fish. I wonder if it like kicked up mud or something. What is it? This is not a wall, I don't think. This is fighting so strange. Oh, it's not a wally, it's a sauger. Leave me alone, saugers, please. Another sauger. A little bigger sauger. Thinks he's tough. So 
So I'll show you the action of that spoon as I was trying to do before that dumb sauger interrupted. So essentially the deal is with a controlled fall, as you can see, it kind of turns on its side and flutters. And along with that, as it's on its side, those little wings kind of kick and buck and make all kinds of disturbance. It's just like the perfect little flutter spoon. It's incredible. Our boy Mike Harris at Element Custom Baits has designed another absolute banger. Oh, fish, fish. Oh, that fish looks a little bigger. Oh, that looks like a big fish, boys. This is, it's engaged. Oh, it's, it's vertical, it's vertical. That's a big fish. Two fish right now. Oh, no, the smaller one is going to... Oh, no, the smaller one took it from the big one. Oh, that sucks. This is a dink. It's not a dink. It's a decent fish, but f that other one was so much bigger. Okay, okay, okay. He's still there, he's still there, he's still there, he's still there. Okay, I got to get this fish unhooked. Don't panic. Everybody calm down. Ah! Okay, 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 here's that fish. I'll show you it really quick. It's maybe like a 20 incher. I'm gonna drop back down. That big one was there. He was like eyeballing it, went vertical, and this little fing pipsqueak emerged from the bottom and just darted at it. It wasn't even a pipsqueak, it was like a decent fish, but <laughs> it just stole it right from that big one. Oh, fish, fish. Oh, there's a. Got him. Eh. I don't think it's very big. Small walleye or sauger eater walleye. A nice, dirty, pimply one. Look at that pimply boy. He crushed that wingding. These wingdings are so sick, man. Check that out. Another beauty. Big old pimply boy. Get him back. All right. We need another big one to wrap up uh, to wrap up this day, or several big ones, ideally. But uh, let's get this wingding back down. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, that's a uh, not a bigger mark. Come on. I haven't caught a single fish on the dead stick yet today. I don't think. Will this be the first one? I think he's biting the dead stick. Got him. <laughs> Small walleye again. Yep. Now that's an actual eater. Here he is. Maybe like a 15 incher. Get him back down. I was on the meathead jig with the live minnow. These meathead jigs are actually super sick. Big fan of them. Little tungsten live bait jigs. Just has the short wide gap hook. That is actually the first fish on the uh, meat presentation today. Everything else has been on aggressively jigged spoons or rattle baits. You love to see it. Oh, big mark, big mark. Oh, look at this fish's vertical. It looks long. Got him. Oh, that's a bigger one, I think. That's a nicer fish. That's a nicer fish for sure. It's head shaking like crazy. I don't know how big it is. <gasps> it's pulling drag. I can see a big white body. I think that's a bigger one. Yeah, it's a nicer fish. It'll be the second biggest fish of the day. Maybe like a 26. Look at that. Jig is just buried in his mouth. He couldn't have possibly chomped that any harder. Okay. Little barbless hook pops right out. Absolutely beautiful Lake Winnipeg walleye. Like that's why you look at the gut on that thing. Like that's a little slob. Deadly. Let's get that back. There he goes. Ooh. All right. So action starting to pick up. Ever since the clock struck about 1:30, things have started heating up. We had a little lull point from noon till 1:30, and uh, looks like these fish are back in action. Oh, big mark, big mark. Oh, huge mark. Look at this thing. This is this is big. This is. Oh, this looks big. You can't really see the length of it, but just like the sheer, like how thick it marked. This looks as big as the 29. Oh, he's coming up on it. Oh, he's vertical. This fish is going to eat. Please eat. This is so big. Why won't he eat? Dude, this is big. Oh, this is so big. Look at it. It's vertical. Dude, this might be a huge fish. It's so hard to tell how big it is on that live scope. But it looks so big and it's acting like a big fish. Oh, it's so big. It's big. 
Got him. Oh, what the? F it's not even big. What the? F it looked so big. Okay, well, that was anticlimactic. It's a dink. Why did it look so huge? Unless that was a different fish. Because that mark looked as big as the 29 or bigger. Oh, my heart is pounding. That was too much for me. <laughs> this has to be a different fish. But look at that. That was super cool watching it, like, play around, play some games there. Another beautiful walleye. We'll get that guy back. I want to get back down real quick because I think that there could be another bigger fish down there. Or else that fish was just flexing the whole time. Because holy f my heart is pounding. Oh, fish. Here's another nice mark. Oh, dude, this is a crazy fish. I don't know if it's huge. It looks big-ish, but I said, missed him, son of a This is a crazy little fish, man. Another nice one, dude. Like, the average size here on Lake Winnipeg is absolutely ridiculous. In a lot of parts of the world, these are nice fish, like nice walleyes. But here it's just like, eh. Fish, fish, snaking along the bottom. Oh, that's a nice mark. This is going to be a big fish, dude. Got him. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. This is a big walleye, boys. I'm just going to play. Oh, I got off. That was a big fish. Oh, that was big. And I was even saying, I'm going to play this nice and soft. Oh, that hurts. That was certainly a big fish. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. It's the way she goes, right? That's the way she goes. I'm no stranger to losing big walleyes in Lake Winnipeg. <laughs> Something <laughs> broke. Something broke. I just missed it. I just lost a fucking monster, dude. I caught a 29 this morning and a bunch of other nice ones. And I just lost one that was bigger and I'm fucking pissed off. That right there, kids, is why despite what the laws of Manitoba say, don't pinch your barbs. It's worth the ticket. Just kidding. <laughs> I do not condone barbed hook fishing in Manitoba. But boy, if I had a chance to go back and rebarb that hook, I might have done it. Okay, well, that's going to do it. Still got another hour of daylight or so left, but uh, we got some things we have to do back home. Just getting back from the north after like a month and a half. Just trying to get life organized here. Hate to leave on a sour note. Losing that big fish, I'm convinced that was a big fish. But overall, it's been such a good day. Probably caught, I don't know, maybe like 10 or 12 fish. Several big ones. Would have got a full limit of eaters if we were keeping fish today, but I uh, can't complain. Almost all fish on actively jigged baits. Element custom baits for that matter, both the wingding and the mugshot. Check them out. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Until next time. Peace.